I just need your attention, baby. I see the way I the tension, baby. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If I'm more than just a friend to you, more than just a friend to you. Hey guys, it's Steph, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a product that I tried recently. And you can probably already tell that I did not like this product. And that is for a multitude of reasons. So we're gonna be talking about the Carol's Daughter's, Carol's Daughter? No, Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. It's supposed to be a nourishing and conditioning original leave-in moisturizer for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. So it claims to deeply moisturize, improve the softness of your hair, and prevent frizz. Then I saw this little sticker right here, which is the Best of Beauty Allure, 2013 winner. That probably should have clued me in because 2013 was five years ago. But I saw that Allure Best of Beauty sticker and I thought, you know what, this is probably gonna be a, be a really great product. And on top of that, this product cost me $17.99. $17.99. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's a lot of money for a leave-in conditioner, in my opinion, because I am a Cantu kind of girl. And Cantu is $6. I am literally spending three times the amount that I usually do on a leave-in conditioner, but I was like feeling myself that day. I think it was payday or something, and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna invest in my hair. I'm gonna get myself something really nice, and I'm gonna go spend $17.99 on one product. So I did, and so I was really excited to go home and try the product out for the first time. And immediately, immediately, I was in denial, but immediately I knew that this product wasn't going to work for me. So first I'll go down the things that I liked about the product because it can't just be, I don't want to bash the product entirely. So the product does smell good. It doesn't smell better than Cantu, but it does smell good. It smells almost like vanilla-y, like a vanilla bean based moisturizer. I don't know if that sounds good to you, but it smells like good. It smells like clean and fresh and light. Whereas Cantu is more like fruity and a bit like more heavily perfumed, but I like the smell of Cantu a lot. But yeah, so this smells pretty good. It is kind of like a thin consistency. I wanna pour it on my hand for you, but I'm not trying to get all messed up either. It's like a thin, more runny consistency, whereas the Cantu cream, I'm gonna to continue to compare it to the Cantu one because that's what I use on a regular basis. The Cantu cream is more thick and um, gloppy where this one is like runny and thin. So I immediately knew I was gonna have to use a lot of this stuff in order to, you know, continue with my wash and go the way that I like it. I do my hair once a week, every Wednesday, so that it lasts seven days, which means I am very heavy handed with products so that they last the entire week. This is actually day one hair that you're looking at, which is why it's kind of flat. Yes, this is flat in my world. But my hair is kind of flat today because it's day one hair um, and extremely defined. So you can see that I use a lot of products so that I can get my hair super defined so that it lasts the entire week. So I knew immediately I was gonna have to use a lot of this product, which was another con. I had to use a ton of, sorry, my camera was a little close. I had to use a ton of this stuff in order to feel comfortable that it was actually like penetrating my hair shaft. Pros, again, it smells good. The consistency is thin, which is not a pro for me, but it might be a pro for you if you have less hair than I do. I have a lot of hair. And I guess the other final pro is that it's made with a lot of great ingredients. So right immediately on the front, it'll tell you that it's made with agave, shea, and soybean. Oh, you, sorry, it's not focusing. So agave, shea, and soybean. And then even when you look at the back here it tells you there's no parabens no petroleum no mineral oil and no artificial colors wow my camera does not want to cooperate today anyways take my word for it that's what it says right on the back so there's a lot of really great ingredients in here so carol's daughter does care about the products that they put in their hair products which i did appreciate which is one of the reasons i was willing to splurge a little on the product so i go i spend my 17.99 i skip home and I'm so excited to do my wash day. And like I said, immediately I knew that the product might not work for me, but again, $17.99. If I spend that kind of money, I'm expecting you to work. So I'm just gonna make it work. So I continue to do my wash and go. I had bought two new products that day. Typically my wash and go consists of Cantu leave and repair cream, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and the Eco Styler Black Flaxseed Gel. 
That day, I had gone to the beauty supply and I had replaced the Cantu leave-in cream for this. I continued with my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Cream and I did Eco Styler Gel, but it was the gold bottle instead of the flaxseed gel. By the time I was done with my wash and go, my hair just didn't feel as defined or as moisturized as it usually does. So I waited it out, I let my hair air dry, and immediately I hated my hair. Like it was frizzy, it just did not look good. And the weird thing was it was super frizzy, but there was a thick coating of product. Like every time I touched my hair, product would come off on my hand and it felt like there was a film on my hair, which I found really strange because typically when I use that amount of product, my hair would feel really moisturized. Instead, it almost felt like the product was sitting on top of my hair and no moisture had actually like gotten into my hair shaft. It just felt like there's products sitting on top of my hair. First, I thought maybe it was the fact that I had tried two new products that day as opposed to just trying one because I couldn't pinpoint whether it was the eco styler that was failing on me and I couldn't define my curls the way that I wanted to or if it was the hair milk that I didn't like. But whatever, like I said, I'm a, na a lazy natural so I wasn't about to waste that wash and go so I did finish out the week with that same wash and go. I just kind of wore my hair in buns most of the week and then I decided to uh, next Wednesday start again with my hair routine and only replace my conditioner with this and then continue with my regular Shea Moisture and my regular Eco Styler Gel. Again, the results were just not it for me. Like I, ugh, it just still didn't look good, but I decided to give it one more chance. I wasn't gonna give up on it again. $17.99, I was not going to give up on this product just yet. So I decided again the following week that I was going to try one more time with this product. And again, the same results. I realized that the film that was on top of my hair and like that heavy, gross, like ugh feeling that I had was because of this product. So that's the main reason why I didn't like it. And I'm so sorry about it because I was so excited. This is my first Carol's Daughter product that I've ever tried and all of the natural hair bloggers that I watch, they all use Carol's Daughter and they all rave about it. I mean, they do get some PR or, and I'm not sure if they're getting paid for it, but I, I really felt like they were being honest and th maybe they were, maybe the products did work for them and this is just one that didn't work for me, but I hated this product. Like I actually hated it and I was just, I just wanted to talk about it on my channel and see if anybody else hated this product. I don't know, is it just me or this product, all it does is sit on top of your hair and leave it feeling like greasy and slick. Am I crazy? I don't know. It says it's for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. So I thought, you know, I fit somewhere in between all of those. I have like a 3C, 4A hair pattern. So it's not like I have super loose textured, textured hair. She included kinks in there. I thought that was for me, but I don't know. This was just not it. Ugh. I'm so disappointed because I've always heard really great things about Carol's Daughter. I really liked the ingredients in the product, so I wanted it to work out so bad, especially since now everybody's trying to cancel Eco Styler. I don't know. I haven't decided about doing that just yet. We'll, we're going to talk about that in another video. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I was extremely disappointed with this product. I did not like the way it made my hair feel. By day two, my hair was literally just in, like giant frizz ball. Like it just looked so bad. I had no definition in my curls, even though I'd used quite a bit of gel, there was zero definition. So I actually had to like re-wet my hair, not fully wash it. Cause again, lazy natural. I had to re-wet my hair and like rub in like a coconut curling cream by Cantu to help define my curls all over again. So I wasn't happy with that. I just felt myself every morning having to touch up my hair, constantly having to worry about it like expanding. And just, ugh, it was just like the worst three hair weeks I'd ever had in my life. I like, it was just a hot ass mess. And I know it was because of this product. So I'm really disappointed. Yeah, so you guys let me know if you've had similar experiences down below and let me know if maybe I was using the product wrong, but it's a leave-in conditioner. So all you can do is, you know, leave it in your hair. I'm assuming like how many ways can you use a leave-in conditioner but this product just didn't work for me so I'm gonna see if I can give it to maybe a friend that'll enjoy this more because this $17.99 should not go to waste somebody should have it and somebody should enjoy it so just let me know what you thought of this product have you guys tried this product are there other other products in this line that I should try again I've got pretty tight hair so and I like definitions so if there's anything in this line that you can suggest for someone like me I'd be happy to try it and you guys let me know what you thought of this product. Don't forget to hit this video with a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.
I just need your attention, baby. I see the way I the tension, baby. Let me know, let me know, let me know. If I'm more than just a friend to you, more than just a friend to you.